right, good morning. For the most part, looks like everybody is here and ready to go. Welcome to Qigong. This practice can be done seated or standing. If you um, can challenge yourself to stand and have good balance, that is the best practice, but um, definitely accommodate to your needs and abilities. Some things that I might mention for you to do in class, just so that you understand some of the terminology. I may say free breath timing. That means however is comfortable for you, but at the same time, I do encourage you to slow that breath down as best you can, okay? Uh, really being mindful of that breath going in and out. I will say shift your weight and spiral that is where we just come back to a standing position and we're just kind of centering ourselves. When we talk about shifting our weight, it is a gentle movement, shifting the weight from the heels of your feet to the bubbling well acupoint, that meaty spot on the bottom of your foot, just at the base of the toes, um, that padded area, that's your bubbling well acupoint. If I say pulse, you're just gonna do quick, minute pulsing side to side. At times, I'll encourage you to hold your breath as you spiral. Um, <clears throat> that spiraling is just drawing the energy in towards you. Um, we have Dantians that we work with. The lower Dantian is the navel down. So when we're doing our first postures of empty force, I encourage you to uh, look at those hands they should be angled towards the navel, but not going above it. And then when we talk about the middle dantian, that's from the shoulders down to that navel line. And most of our work is done heart center. Um, so try thinking about the hand placement there. And then when we get to the upper dantian, of course, that's <clears throat> the head and above. When we're up there, we do wanna have that, our hands and palms pointed towards the forehead. That's our upper Dantian region. The only other word I might use that you might not be familiar with is uh, the crown chakra. So that's basically, if you were to take a string from the ceiling down to the center of your head, that's where your crown chakra would be. So as we uh, go up into our highest posture in the upper Dantian, we will be aiming for that crown chakra area. A couple modifications. If you struggle, <clears throat> shoulder injuries, upper back injuries, um, just struggle with being having some atrophy, some you know loss of muscles. Please modify. <clears throat> These movements are very difficult to do and hold for a long period of time. So if we're you know down here and this is painful for you, go ahead and come back to this resting position where we're shifting our weight and spiraling. If we're working up here in this middle Dantian and it becomes too much, just try dropping down to the lower Dantian to give those shoulders a little bit of a break. But before you do that, think about your shoulders. Are they relaxed? Are they dropped? You should feel those shoulder blades down, going down your spine as you relax that tension. And I will cue you often, relax the shoulders, right? You can still have a nice, tall, wide posture without those shoulders being up here. So really focus, dropping those shoulders down. Same thing when we are up here. If this is too much for you, that's okay, come back here, right? If this is too much, drop down to the lower Dantian. And if that's too much, I encourage you to go back here, okay? Qigong is about mindfulness and utilizing the energy around us. So the energy is in everything. It's in our computer screen, it's on the watch on our wrist, it's the chair that we're sitting in. Pressurizing that energy is what makes the different objects that we have in this world. And so this idea that we can utilize this energy that is always encompassing us to help heal our bodies, but also use it as your strength. Often you see people in Tai Chi and Qigong, you know, they'll take someone's energy and push it back on them, right? Some tiny little person is moving a monster uh, by absorbing their energy and deflecting it back onto them. It's the same concepts of Qigong. We also like to incorporate that breath. Through these mindful movements, you can decrease um, 
stress, you can decrease anxiety, lower your blood pressure, lower your heart rate, um, and of course helps with your overall health and just blood and oxygen flow through the body. Today we're gonna go through empty force and then healing form level one. If you need to use a chair, please do. Just make sure the back is off your back, the back of the chair. Your feet are nice and planted. And even when we shift our weight, I encourage you to do that rocking motion in your chair, shifting your weight. All right, so we come to a standing position. I'm going to play some music. Feel free to play your own if you want to, completely up to you. If I come closer to the screen, it's just because I'm showing hand posture, hand movements, okay? Please stay where you are. One of the other things that Qigong encourages you to do is to work through the distractions of this world and of your body. So one of the things is if you're here and you're like, oh my gosh, my shoulder itches, or you, you know, if you're doing it outside and a fly lands on you, just really try to work through that distraction and just let it go, right? Challenge yourself to work through the discomfort to increase your ability to be mindful. All right. We begin with empty fours. Those feet come shoulder width apart. When you look down, you should see railroad tracks, nice straight lines with those feet. You want to have soft knees, so don't lock those joints. Take those shoulders, roll them back, drop those shoulder blades down the spine. That's going to create a nice wide posture, so those elbows should be wide. Almost as if you're carrying two 20 pound bags of rice, so having that space from your body. You should have space between your fingers and the thumbs are dropped down. No hitchhiking, okay? Challenge yourself to keep those thumbs down. Begin by shifting your weight and spiraling. Gently moving that weight from the heel of your foot to the bubbling well acupoint, that meaty spot on the bottom of the foot. Make sure those shoulders are dropped and relaxed. Slow that breath down. The circles that you're drawing, just imagine the tips of your fingers or maybe circling something the size of a dime. Very small circles. Become still for empty fours. Breathe in, bringing the hands to a palm to palm connection at the navel. Breathe out. Inhale, expand, those hands come shoulder width apart. Take two breaths if you need to, but try to challenge yourself to slow down. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, expand. Breathe out, come together. Expand. Exhale, come together. Now with free breath timing, however is comfortable for you, begin spiraling, drawing the energy from the earth, shining that light of energy into the lower Dantian. The hands are at a 45 degree angle. back to that original first posture. Inhale, arcing out into the shape of a capital D. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing towards you. 
Inhale, arcing out into the shape of a capital D. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing towards you. Inhale, arcing out. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing towards you. Now with free breath timing, pulse, click my new pulsing side to side. Relax those shoulders, elbows wide, now towards and away from you. Notice any warming or tingling of the hands beginning. Now side to side. Become still. Breathe in, letting the hands float up to the middle Dantian, heart center. As you exhale, relax the shoulders, drop the elbows. Inhale, expand. Thumbs are dropped down to the index finger. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, expand. Breathe out, come together. Notice the warmth in the palms of the hands, maybe going down the forearms. Inhale, expand. Slow that breath down. Exhale, come together. With free breath timing, begin spiraling, drawing energy into the middle Dantian. The shoulders are dropped and relaxed, elbows lower than the wrists. Returning back to that original second posture, inhale, arcing out into the shape of a capital D. Holding that breath, pulse, one, two, three, exhale, pressing towards you. Breathe in, arc out. Holding that breath, pulse, one, two, Three, exhale, pressing towards you. Inhale, arcing out. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three, exhale, pressing towards you. Breathe in, letting the hands lower and returning back up to that heart center. At heart center, exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, letting the hands float up to the upper Dantian. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Inhale, expand. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, expand. Breathe out, come together. Inhale, expand. Those hands stay above the eyebrows, pointed at the forehead. Exhale, come together. Now with free breath timing, spiral drawing energy in to the upper Dantian. Relax the shoulders. You'll actually be able to spiral further, relaxing those shoulders, releasing the ball and socket. Returning 
back to that original third posture. Inhale, arcing up to the crown chakra. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing towards you. Inhale, arcing up. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing towards you. Inhale, arcing up. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing towards you. Inhale with the hands slightly lifting. Exhale, letting the hands slowly lower down to the lower Dantian. Feeling the wave of energy move from head to toe. At the navel, the hands turn forward. Inhale, hands lift. Exhale, spiral three times. With free breath timing, begin spiraling, drawing large Ds with your hands, one forwards, one backwards. Those hands are the same height off the floor. Turning back to the center, draping that wave of energy across, returning to the ready position where we shift our weight and spiral. Check the knees, make sure they're not locked. The shoulders are dropped, relaxed, elbows wide, thumbs down. That was empty cords. Great job, that's a difficult posture to do. We'll move into healing form level one. Become still for cloud hands. Breathe in, bringing the hands to a palm to palm connection. Breathe out. Inhale, letting the hands float up to frame the face. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, the hands lift to the heavens. Relax those shoulders. Inhale, the arms float down to the T posture, light as a feather. Continue that inhale if you're able to. Slight bend at the elbows. Then the palms turn down, exhaling. The hands wide at first and become narrow. Breathe in, the hands float up to frame the face. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Breathe out, the hands raise to the heavens. Inhale, the arms float down to the T posture. Continue that breath in if you're able to. Slight bend at the elbows. Then the palms turn down, exhale, the hands wide at first, and become narrow. Draping the energy across, returning to the ready position where we shift our weight and spiral. Relax those shoulders. Slow that breath down, wide elbows. Become still for earth hands. The palms begin face down. Breathe in, the hands are wide at first. Floating up to heart center. Fingers forward, holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you lower.
draping across. We go again, breathe in, the arms float up wide at first. Holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Pressing, exhale as we lower. Draping across, we go again. Breathe in, the arms float up. Listen closer than those elbows, holding that breath spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you lower. Draping across, returning to the ready position where we shift our weight and spiral. Check the knees, make sure they're not locked. Shoulders are dropped and relaxed. Elbows wide. If you've been taking two breaths, I encourage you to try and challenge yourself to slow the breathing down even more. Become still for around the world. We would begin with the palms face forward. Breathe in, bringing the hands to a palm-to-palm -palm connection. Breathe out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, come together. As you inhale and expand, the fingers drop in slightly to lead. And as you exhale, the thumbs drop in slightly to lead, maintaining that palm to palm connection. Inhale, expand. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, bringing the right hand on top of the left. Breathe out. And with free breath timing, begin pulsing, quick, minute pulsing diagonally on the edge of the energy field. If you don't feel that warmth or resistance in the hands, like they just don't want to go any closer together, bring them a sixteenth of an inch, an eighth of an inch closer until you feel that edge that they just don't want to go closer. Become still, breathe in, arcing out into the shape of a yin-yang symbol, adjusting the wrist to maintain that palm-to-palm -palm connection. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, and as you exhale, using those hips, turn to the left side. Inhale, bringing the left hand on top of the right. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, turning to the right side. When you turn those wrists, imagine you're unscrewing the lid off of a jar. Breathe in, bringing the right hand on top. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, Three, exhale, turning to the left side. Breathe in, bringing the left hand on top. Holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three, exhale, turning to the right side. Breathe in, bringing the right hand on top. Holding that breath. Pulse, one, two, three. Exhale, turning to the left side. Breathe in, bringing the left hand on top. Holding that breath, pulse, one, two, three. Exhale, returning to the center. Breathe in, arcing out into the shape of a yin-yang symbol, 
adjusting those wrists to maintain that palm to palm connection. Exhale, come together. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, continue turning to the right side. Breathe in, bringing the right hand on top of the left, holding that breath, pulse. One, two, three. Exhale, returning to the center. Inhale, bringing those hands to a palm to palm connection. Exhale, returning the energy to the earth. Draping that energy across, returning to that ready position where we shift our weight and spiral. Check those shoulders, shoulder blades, drop them, relax. Check the knees, make sure they're not locked. <clears throat> it's a gentle shifting from the heel of your foot to the bubbling well acupoint. Great job, everyone. We have one more exercise. Push hands as we become still. We begin with the palms face forward. Breathe in, bringing the hands to a palm to palm connection. Breathe out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, come together. As you inhale, drop those fingers to let them lead. Great job. And as you exhale, let the thumbs drop in slightly to lead. Inhale, expand. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, drawing back the right arm. Holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you turn to the left. Using the hips, not the shoulders. Breathe in, drawing back the left arm. Holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you turn to the right, the left fingers open slightly. The warmth is in the right hand. Breathe in, drawing back the right arm. Holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you turn to the right, the left fingers open slightly. The warmth is felt in the right hand. Breathe in, drawing back the left hand, holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you turn to the right, the left fingers open slightly. The warmth is felt in the right hand. Breathe in, drawing back the right arm, Holding that breath, spiral. One, two, three. Exhale, pressing as you return to the center. Inhale, expand. Exhale, come together. Breathe in, expand. Breathe out, come together. Now bringing that right hand on top of the left, forming that energy curl. Let your hands freely float around the edge of the energy field. Adjusting those wrists to maintain that palm to palm connection. Qigong 
teaches us to be humble. As we finish this portion of our practice, I encourage you to channel your thoughts inward. Focus on what you've accomplished, challenges you've overcome, fears or pain that you worked through. If you believe in a higher power, you can turn your attention to that, asking for blessings on your day, your practice. gentlemen the right hand goes outside ladies the left outside of the, the right there's space between those fingers at this point and the hands take a nice breath in and draw the hands to the navel the space between the fingers close breathe out going up and to the left we do nine circles from small to large And at nine, going in the opposite direction from large to small. Returning back to the navel. Namaste. Great job, everyone. Uh, with this portion, we went through empty force. We also did healing form level one. We're gonna move into the nine breath method. So please make sure you have a chair uh, that has legs on it, no rolling wheels. our music just for a moment so we can go over the directions and guidance of nine breath method and then we'll turn that music back on two contraindications meaning you should not perform this practice this breathing technique with us if you have conditions of pregnancy or epilepsy in those cases if you do please just bring your back off the back of the chair nice tall straight spine and slow your breathing down as best you are able. But please do not follow my guidance. For everyone else, um, the only rules for this um, breathing is that you do not look down and you don't close your eyes. Often we do that in this practice. It's just a tendency, so I will cue you guys not to during the practice. I encourage you to find something in front of you that's not moving that you can stare at. Often when we are breathing, we are taking slow, rich, deep breaths. Okay, so when we do that, those lungs really expand, 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 and fill, and then we exhale. And so we kind of end up doing this little bit of a, a rocking motion. So just make sure that if your body does tend to rock, go ahead and let it do that. Just make sure you don't end up here where you're now looking at the ground, right? So if you do end up doing a little bit of rocking, make sure your eyes stay fixed forward. This is called nine breath method because essentially you're gonna take nine breaths. It's very similar to the pranayama breathing that many of you have done or experienced in yoga. So pranayama means through the nose. So it is a nasal breath. When we talk about breathing through the nose, it's not just your normal breath in. You really wanna try and draw the air from the tip of your nose. It feels different. So go ahead and just take a minute to just really practice like, what does that feel like? Can you feel the coolness of the air coming from the front of your nostrils rather than just a normal breath that kind of fills the whole nasal cavity? So really focus on that. There are two times during the nine breath that you will use your mouth to breathe. It is the very first exhale and then the last breath is half of a nasal breath and then you end with almost as if you're like trying to suck the air out of a straw get the last little bit that's in the bottom of the cup kind
kind of thing and you feel that like slurping motion. Uh, so with that, the nine breath method, I will cue you. I will say on three, we'll all breathe together. I'll say one, two, three. I will say in through the nose. And that very first exhale is the only time through the mouth. <sighs> then in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose. Don't worry, I'll do the counting. I will say this is eight to prepare you for number nine because number nine starts in through the nose and then <sighs> that's where you use that mouth again to kind of suck that air. When you do that, it really just kind of fills up the lungs, right? You have all of this air trapped in your lungs. What we wanna do is move that air from the lungs deep down into the diaphragm. The best way to describe this, which it, it takes some time to get used to, is to sink and swallow. So really drop those shoulders, relax into the breath, let that Buddha belly come out and swallow at the same time. It'll help move that oxygen from the lungs deep down into the diaphragm. From there, hold that breath as long as you comfortably can. When you're like, mm, this is enough for me, um, I'm done with this experience, whatever it might be, slowly let that air come out of your lips. Okay, so when you're here and you're holding your breath, I don't wanna see, you know, and let it all out. Really try to control that release. It should be like you're just kind of perching those lips just a little to, you know, almost like it's deflating a balloon. A um, Couple things, I will always encourage you to breathe harder. People struggle with taking really loud nasal breaths. So I will always encourage you to breathe harder. If for some reason the sensation is too strong for you, don't breathe as hard. The other option, if the euphoric experience that you feel is too strong, um, you can turn your attention to the palms of your hands because our hands will be at the navel like we did in the closing. Um, you can focus on the palms of your hands. You should be able to feel your heartbeat, okay? So just a brief little run through. I'll just do like a little mock breathing. I'm going to say on three, we'll all breathe together. I will count one, two, three. You'll go in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Then all in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose. I will say this is eight. Slow it down, out through the nose, then nose and then Hold that breath, sink, swallow, and then you will hold that breath and slowly release it when you're ready. All right, I'm gonna play the music. Please, please, please remember <clears throat> two rules. Do not look down, do not close your eyes. Nice, tall, straight spine. The back is off the back of the chair. Feet are flat. We want them shoulder width apart. Gentlemen, right hand outside of left, ladies left outside of right at the navel. Try to relax those shoulders. Don't tense up too much when you're taking those slow, rich, deep breaths. Don't look down. Don't close your eyes. On three, we'll all breathe together. One, two, three, in through the nose, out through the mouth, all nose, in, out, three, out, breathe harder, out, five, out, don't close your eyes, out, seven, out. This is eight, slow it down. Out. Nose, then hold that breath, sink, swallow, relax the shoulders. Slowly release the air from your lips when you're ready.
the sensation was too strong, don't breathe quite so hard or focus on that heartbeat that you should feel in the palms of your hands. If it wasn't strong enough, breathe harder. All right, we go again on three. We'll all breathe together. Remember, don't look down, don't close your eyes. One, two, three. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All nose, in, out, three, out. Keep going, out, five, out. Breathe harder, out, seven, out. This is eight, out. Nose, then mouth. <laughs> Hold that breath, sink, swallow. Relax the shoulders. Slowly release the air from your lips when you're ready. Don't close those eyes. Don't look down. All right, we go again on three. We'll all breathe together. One, two, three. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nose, out, three. Out, don't close your eyes. Out, five, out, breathe harder. Out, seven, out. This is eight, slow it down. Out, nose, then hold that breath, sink, swallow. Relax the shoulders. Don't close your eyes, don't look down. Slowly release the air from your lips when you're ready. Don't close your eyes, don't look down. When you're finished, you can place those palms face up on the thighs. Sit back, relax, and breathe however is comfortable for you. Great job at Qigong today. It was a pleasure practicing with you. Please make sure to stay online.